What's going on my YouTube family? I am your man up and coming and welcome back to another drop. So if this is your first time tuning in, you want to follow me on this journey as I build my sneaker collection, do me a huge favor, hit that subscribe button, subscribe to the content, stay locked in to me, stay plugged into me. I appreciate all the love, the support I've been getting. This journey has been fun so far. I think I've been doing this thing for what, maybe four and a half weeks, five weeks now. So I'm looking forward to the channel growing. I'm looking forward to gaining more of you all, becoming a part of the family. You know, and also before we get to the video, I know right now our country is going through a lot. It's going through a lot. We, we are experiencing some horrible times right now. So real quick, rest in peace to George Floyd. My prayers are going out to his family. Hope everybody is staying safe, you know, and we're gonna all get through this together. So. So for the sake of today's video, yes, today is Saturday. Today is the drop for the Flint 13s. And yes, your man finally caught a W. So I ended up entering into a raffle at City Gear, Hippie Sports, Champs, Foot Locker, all the local stores. And I ended up hitting on a size 11 at the local City Gear and ended up hitting on a size six for my girl at the Champs. So we're gonna head to City Gear. We're gonna head to uh, Champs, that's what it is, Champs. We're gonna head to City Gear, we're gonna head to Champs. The malls open back up. I'm ready to do some shopping. I'm tired of shopping online, man. I've been <sighs> taking too many L's online. I have been, so. Without further ado, let's get to it. Rage on that beat, going crazy. So as y'all can see, man, we just pulled up at the City Gear. We had two reservations for the Flint 13s, one for an 11.40 time slot, another for a 12 o'clock time slot. But we're going to see how this is. We're going to see how it goes. A lot of people out there. I guess this is what you can expect when they start opening up the stores and you don't have to buy online anymore. So let's go. Wait in this line. Twenty minutes later. Y'all can see, man. I, I'm just now making it into the city gear. I was outside for about thirty minutes. The line is crazy. Of course, with the local stuff, they did raffles, but man, it was crazy. It was ridiculous, you know. But hey, that's the price. That's the cost of it. It is what it is. So as you can see, your boy was able to get his pair. This shit is bananas. It is bananas. All right, folks. So as y'all can see, man, that that was stressful. That was stressful. Like this definitely, this definitely reminds me of them good old days, man. Back in the day, lining up for shoes, trying to comp them on release day. But uh, yeah, so we're gonna head over to the Gallery Mall now because my girl, we ended up hitting on the size six for her. So we're gonna go comp them joints, and that's gonna be that. All right. Uh, yeah, so we just pulled up at the Galleria Mall. From what I'm hearing, I know a lot of people were saying that the Galleria was jam-packed. So hopefully it's not another city gear thing that we just experienced because I don't think my lady wants to go through that shit again. So we're going to go in there. We're going to get her prayer. And that's going to be that. All right. Check our drip. Check the fly. I love, I love, I love. Slow down, slow down. What we got, what we rocking? The Vapor Maxes. Got them duck camo joints on them 2090s. All right, so far it ain't too bad. Don't look like too many people in there right now. Hopefully, Champs got 
that's set up a little bit better, a little bit more organized. As you can see, the line ain't line ain't too bad. Ain't too many people out there right now. You say what now? I mean, the ghetto stores is where the merchandise be at, boy. That's where the merchandise be at. Ain't gonna lie, man. This line is moving pretty smooth. They're getting people in and out. I like that. I know a city gear, they only let like one person in the store at a time every 20 minutes. That shit was fucking horrible. A few minutes later. Get in and get out. Take a look at some of the sale items. Hey, we're here for a reservation. On what? The Flint 13. Uh, six kids, big kids, yeah. So real quick, so my girl just went on Facebook Live and somebody's sharing a live feed of the city gear we were at earlier, man. It's still crazy there. So it looks like they had to actually call the police there to help them with this raffle situation or to get the shoes out to people. Man, the craze is real. All right. So as you can see, man, we just got home. I'm gonna set this bag right there. I'm gonna go eat this food real quick and I'll be back. All right, so we finally made it home. It's been a long day. I'm a little tired. The lady is tired. You know, we stopped. We got a little bit of something to eat. Stopped. We got some some Chinese rice. I ain't gonna lie, I ain't had Chinese rice since the pandemic started. So you know, your boy been trying to eat healthy and everything. What you mean? I haven't. <laughs> I have. Hey, I've, I've been eating a salad here and there. Some pecans. Some in my ice cream, you're right. In my ice cream, so <laughs> but anyway, so before I get to the unboxing of the flints, I got a package in today. Uh, this is a package that I've been waiting on for a while, man. If I believe these to be what I think they are, I've been waiting on these for a while. So, real quick, I'm gonna do this unboxing for y'all, huh? And yep, these are it. So, I want to say back on May the 5th. Let me see what this says. It doesn't give me, oh yeah, May the 5th. So I ordered these shoes back on May the 5th. They ended up shipping out via FedEx, like May the 11th, and I'm just now getting these shoes. Just now getting them in, but it's all good. We got them, you know, we got them. I can get these things out there. So we got a pair of Pumas, you know, and I believe that as a sneakerhead, you have to have a variety of shoes. I know you got a lot of Jordan collectors out there, people that just like Nike. Hey, I don't knock you. We all sneakerheads. We all got our things, but me, I like to have variety. I'm a huge fan of the Pumas. These are the RSX Retros. So with these, I ended up picking these up from Puma. I want to say they were like 51 after taxes. A huge shout out to the guys at Sneaker Twitter. Sneaker Twitter was clutch with the link, with the sale. I'm a bargain shopper, man. If I can find a deal, if I don't have to pay full retail, I'm going to buy it at that price. All right, so yeah, so these are the RSX Retros. I think they dubbed these like the, the Superman edition, the Superman ones, because they kind of remind you of like that Superman costume you got the red on the top toe box mixed in with the blue color and this is almost like a like a suede you got like that mesh with like that suede mixed in midsole the midsole you got that that combination of the red that blue and gray and right, so this is a this is a dope shoe outsole you got like that that gray, that red, the blue puma sign. 
So I actually uh, I own a pair of these just in a different color. These are some really comfortable shoes. So if you want some good looks, everyday shoes, man, these are go to. All right. So and of course, boom. What does that say, babe? What does that say? Can you read that? <laughs> of course you're looking at it. you got the air jordan 13 retros and the flint 13 flints flint 13 so that's what we're gonna call them and like i told y'all with these man i ended up hitting on the raffle at the local city here i got tired of taking l's online so i am extremely happy that the retailers have opened up the shoe stores opened up and this shoe right here just goes without saying i mean everybody knows about this shoe it's just a clean shoe. Clean shoe. Of course, the shoe is comprised of that flint gray color. You have that, that, fin, that flint gray. It's like a suede. Then you have that navy blue on the lateral side of the shoe, the panel. You got like that tumble leather. The, the leather on this shoe, it's a really good quality leather, as you can see. It's, it's tumbled. And of course with the 13, the 13 is another Tinker Hatfield design. The inspiration of the shoe, it draws from Michael Jordan, uh, his love for golf. As you can see, this part of the shoe kind of resembles a golf ball. And then you have the midsole of the shoe. The midsole of the shoe, it kind of resembles cat paws. You know, Tinker Hatfield had it in mind that Jordan had like some cat-like abilities on the court. So that's what you have. And of course on the tongue, the tongue you're gonna have that jump man in that Carolina blue color. You're gonna, again, you're gonna have that white leather. It's gonna come with some white shoe strings. Midsole of the shoe, outsole of the shoe, outsole of the shoe. And moving on to the inside real quick. Of course it's gonna come with your standard shoe insert, the plastic cardboard one. The cardboard one with the Jordan emblem. And on the inside, I don't know if y'all can see that, but on the inside, you got that Jumpman logo on that Carolina blue color. So, this shoe was a hot seller, man. I mean, right now, I think it's still selling on StockX for about, so these are size 11. Size 11, I think it's going for like 330, 340. So, the prices kind of went down. And then when they released, there were, I guess there were a few people that didn't get a chance to get it, so the prices went right back up. So, if you did not get a chance to get one on release day, just monitor the prices on StockX, on GO. And also, monitor the shoe sites, man. At your local stores, they may end up doing another restock. So, there you have it. You got the 2020 release of the Jordan 13 Lens. All right. So, we're going to do a quick on foot video. Let's go. family again hey i appreciate the love the support thanks for tuning in thanks for watching the video and as always yo if you're liking the content so far do me a favor like this video drop a comment down below man watch the previous drops that i've uploaded stay plugged in and as always i'll see you on the next come up